And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Tackle at the 33. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's hit and taken down. Not a huge play, but an effective play nonetheless. I'm able to pick up a first down. Again, this offense right now just making good decisions, moving the sticks, and maintaining possession of the football. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. about the 47 yard line about a yard there on the carry and that's enough for the first down for the halfback yeah they didn't get much but regardless of the yardage the chain gang is still moving down the field Kick out to his receiver determine this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. What are you doing? So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Scrambling around. Right down. Around the 40 yard line. How we do, D. How we do. Get a one on this. That makes it second and eight. From their own 40 yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice gain. From the 44-yard line, first down. Just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. They'll spread the field with five wide. Finds the freshman. They'll bring him down at the 32. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. And he's immediately tackled. Number nine on the tackle at the 14-yard line. First down. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From the 16-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Completely, he's hit right away. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. So they're going to go for it here. And they got him for a loss. And they'll fail on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Got it. And he goes down quickly. for a loss. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop them for a loss of one. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. First and 10, ball on the 26. There's a play fake. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 49 yard line. A decent pickup on the pass play. And I'll tell you what, the defense did everything they could here. Give credit to the quarterback for putting this ball where it had to be for his receiver to catch it. Great job. And he's tackled at the 49. right for a nice game. Splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 94-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Syracuse is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tied in. He's tackled right around the 30. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 30. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-0, Orange. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. 
Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Number eight on the tackle at the 45-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Three down, three down. Hey, check. Go, go. They'll get him for a loss. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. And they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Syracuse is up a score. Get to that quickly. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop right around the 34. down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 48. Number eight raises him down at the 48 yard line. He's looking for six. Swatted away. If I'm the quarterback, I'm not so sure I'd go after this guy again, especially on the deep ball. He'll make the same play again and again. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes at the 28. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. Zips it to the tight end. 
gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First down. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 40, and now he's going to run. They'll bring him down at the 35. First down. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back. Three down. Three down. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Caught out in the open. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 13. That scramble gets them seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woe. Touchdown, VTech. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Find his man, and they take him down immediately. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Rifles it left, and it falls incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. tailback on the screen. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And now the ball is loose. And the defense picks. 
picks it up. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He chucks it downfield. That close to being intercepted. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Oh, it almost picked off. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Orange lead... 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Syracuse has played a terrific first half. They've got the lead at the break, but this team has a size disadvantage at virtually every position. They give up a lot in speed. How can they continue this momentum and keep the lead in the second half? Well, they gave up that size and that speed in the first half, too. And they're up eight, so they got an eight-point lead, which is a good start. They should feel good about where they're at. Nothing has to change. This this is a second half where you got to continue to do what you've been doing. Realize now that you got spotted, you know, you get spotted as a score, which is even better. Come out in the second half, continue to execute. Hey, you don't have to walk right in the middle of the ring and trade blows with them. You can stick and move. You can stay on the outside and make big plays. And they've done it well in the first half. They're going to have to do it in the second half as well. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25, five wide. Out of bounds at the 30. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it 35. I got him, I got him. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Oh 
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Syracuse holds a field goal lead. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Let's go! And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 39 yard line. So the sack makes this a second and long. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Syracuse has a three-point lead. immediately tackled. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Here we go. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Syracuse continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Right down. 648. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. from their own 23-yard line. Third down. And the safety with the interception. 
And they make the stop at the 31. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From the 31 yard line, first down. The 18-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. And down he goes, right around the 10-yard line. That brings up second and one. A short three-play, 32-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 24-7. Excellent kick. Syracuse is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Syracuse, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. The guys lining up on defense right now are one reason why they've got the advantage in this game. There aren't too many people that thought they'd have the lead in this one. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He's out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing that is giving so this quarterback time. more and more confidence. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Three down. And he tackles him hard at the 47. The quarterback really kept his boys under pressure and delivered a pretty nice little ball right there. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. From the 47-yard line, second down. Check three, check three, check three. Hey, check, check back, 11, check Go. back, 11, 28. Throws complete, he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 36. Number six on the tackle at the 36-yard line. First down. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 24-yard line, first down. Gives it to the back. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught with room to work. Nice play to set up first and goal. Gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner. They're not done yet. And he adds the extra point. 
A nice seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 24-14. Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's looking for his man. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Tackle made at the 26. Number 11 brings his end up at the 26 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation. Second and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He lets it go. Picked off. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team six on the ball. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. Virginia Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. Two minutes left in the ball game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The running back gets the first. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The Hokies, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Here we go. Green 19. The handbag picks up a yard. like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screenplay. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check, check. Alert, predator, predator. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and 10. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Go! Lock it down, go! Deep ball, laid it out there. Missed it. And they got it. right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-14, Orange. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.